So good day, sir. In this video, I will be discussing about what I have learned about um, portfolios, paper, and digital. So here are my learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, the learner are expected to describe what is a portfolio and, and identify the uses of a portfolio. So first, we define portfolio. A portfolio is a collection of student work that can exhibit a student's efforts, progress, and achievements in various areas of the curriculum. A portfolio assessment can be an examination of student-selected samples of work experiences and documents related to outcomes being assessed, and it can address and support progress towards achieving um, achieving academic goals including student efficacy so portfolio assessments have been used for large-scale assessment and accountability purposes for purposes of school to work transitions and uh, for purposes of certification so for example portfolio assessments are used as part of the national board of professional teaching standards assessment of expert teachers this assess uh, also portfolio um, consists of a body of student work collected over an extended period from a few weeks to a year or more this work can be produced in response to a test prompt or assignment but is often simply drawn from everyday classroom tasks Frequently, portfolios have um, also contain an element of student reflection. So, types of portfolios. So, while port portfolios have broad potential and can be useful for the assessment of students' performance of, for a variety of purposes in core curriculum areas, the contents and criteria used to assess portfolios must be designed to serve those purposes for for example showcase portfolios they exhibit the best of student performance working portfolios may contain drafts that students and teachers use to reflect on process progress portfolios uh, they contain multiple examples of the same type of work done over time and are used to assess progress so if cognitive processes are intended for assessment content and rubrics must be designed to capture those processes so for portfolio portfolio assessment can provide both formative and summative opportunities for monitoring progress toward reaching identified outcomes by setting criteria for content and outcomes, uh, portfolios can communicate concrete information about what is expected of students in terms of the content and quality of performance in specific curriculum areas, while also providing a way of assessing uh, their progress along the way. So, depending on content and criteria portfolios can provide teachers and researchers with information relevant to the cognitive processes that students use to achieve academic outcomes so here are some of the uses of portfolios much of the literature on portfolio assessment has focused on portfolios as a way to integrate assessment and instruction and to promote meaningful classroom learning so many advocates of this function believe that a successful portfolio assessment program requires the ongoing involvement of students in the creation and assessment processes so portfolio design should provide students with the opportunities to become more reflective about their own work while demonstrating their abilities to learn and achieve in academics. For example, uh, some feel it is important for teachers and students to work together to prioritize the criteria that will be used as a basis for assessing and evaluating student progress. 
during the instructional process, uh, students and teachers work together to identify significant pieces of work and the processes required for the portfolio. As students develop their portfolio, they are able to receive feedback from peers and teachers about their work because of the greater amount of time required for portfolio projects there is a greater opportunity for introspection and collaborative reflection this allows students to um, reflect and report about their own thinking processes as they monitor their own comprehension and observe their emerging understanding of subjects and skills so the portfolio processes so the portfolio process rather is dynamic and is affected by the interaction between students and teachers portfolio assessments can serve um, summative assessment purposes in the classroom serving as the basis for letter grades student conferences at key points during the year can also be part of the summative process such conferences involve the student and teacher and perhaps the parent in joint review of the completion of the portfolio components in querying the um, cognitive processes related to artifact selection and in dealing with other relevant issues such as students per perceptions of individual progress in reaching the academic outcomes so the the use of portfolios uh, for large-scale ass assessment and accountability purposes pose vexing um, measurement challenges. So portfolios that typically require complex production and writing tasks that can be costly to score and for which reliability problems have occurred. So generalizability and comparability can also be an issue in portfolio assessment as portfolio tasks are unique and can vary in topic and difficulty from one classroom to the next. For example, Maria and Joan have raised the question for of um, comparability of scores because of the differences in the help students may receive from their teachers, parents, and peers within and across classrooms to the extent student choice is involved contents may even be different from the student to the next so conditions of and opportunities for uh, performance thus vary from one student to another so these measurement issues take portfolio assessment outside of the domain of conventional psychometrics so the qualities of the most useful portfolios for instructional purposes deeply embedded in instruction involving student choice and unique to each classroom and students seem to contradict the requirements of the sound psychometrics. So however, this does not mean that psychometric methodology should be ignored, but rather that new ways should be created to further develop measurement theory to address reliability, validity, and generalizability. So here are my reference. Thank you and good day.